So we're going to do an evening survey for newts, um, looking to see if there's great crested newts in the pond, which we know there are, but we're looking for the larvae to see if they've actually successfully bred this year. Last year there was a report from some eDNA surveys that we um, that came back positive, saying that they were actually in there, and now I'm just trying to confirm that as best I can using traps. So this is a specially modified new trap called a Jewsbury trap and it's really good for concrete based ponds because you don't need a stake to keep it still. And it's also really good for the welfare of the newts because it has a constant air supply coming in through the top of this float here which sits on the surface. So there's a lead weight on the bottom which pulls it down and then the newts will go in through this funnel here and then we'll be able to find their way out and they'll spend the night there. And they're totally alive when they when I collect the trap and then I release them as good as new in the morning. Right, so I'm hoping to get this in the middle of the pond. And then it should sink on its own accord. There we are. It'll stay like that <laughs> throughout, the, throughout the evening. So the bottle traps work in the same way as the Jewsbury trap, except it's a smaller entrance and they go through the top of the bottle in there and then they can't get out through that. The, this one is modified so that it's got a float on it, which means I can use it on concrete bottomed ponds like this dew pond. Usually you'd have a stake that goes through the stock and you'd stick it into the sediment. That's not gonna work here. So I have to use these special ones and then tie them to the fence so they don't float away. You've got to fill most of it up with water, but it's important to leave, especially at this time of year, an air bubble so that there's a bit of an air supply for them to keep on breathing. And it's important at this time of year because the heart of the pond, the less oxygen it has in it. So to make sure that the newts are nice and safe. I was doing a habitat suitability assessment for this. I would assume that there was very little chance of newts being in there. Because you typically need um, vegetation within the pond where the newts can lay their eggs. Um, the majority of newt eggs, if they're laid on the bare surface, will be predated by whatever lives in the pond. But if they have veg vegetation, they'll fold the leaf over and glue it together so that protects the eggs throughout the, the summer. But it doesn't seem to be bothering them here. I've already caught a wheat water beetle in that one. Boatman. Nothing in that one. Water's disgusting. Oh, we've definitely got something in there. Yeah, all right. Dragonfly nymph. Right, looks of it. Uh, there's a newt in there as well. That is good. Oh, double newt. Excellent. This one looks like it's just lost its external gills actually. Right, mm. right, I'll learn what that is at some point. The others all look the same. It's one of the chasers, isn't it? Right. So, like a broad-bodied chaser or a, one of those ones with the squat abdomen. Mm. And then this one looks like this markings are kind of like a hawker, I think. Maybe southern hawker. Nice. Um, if it's an emperor, they've got a dark line down the middle, like the 
the adults. So yeah, southern pork probably. Excellent. So the way of telling these the small newts apart is whether or not the skin on the throat is opaque or translucent. So smooth newts have an opaque skin, which makes it look cream coloured. Whereas palmate newts have a translucent skin and you can see the blood sort of beneath it so it turns pinkish. They usually have more spots as well, mm. smooth newts. But that's not definitive because you can sometimes get palmates with spots on the throat. And then the other really slightly tricky one to see is on the the hind foot has a white node on palmate newts, so this one doesn't have it. But yeah, it's slightly trickier in the young ones because they're still developing and they haven't got their full adult characteristics. Yeah, so this one will probably leave the pond this winter. And this one is probably the same. Yeah, that's it. No, not, no spots on that one at all. Mm. It's really little, like hardly any orange on the belly as well. Certainly the most immature newts I've ever, other than the Fs themselves. Mm. Yeah, nice. But no great crested, unfortunately. Yeah, sometimes they do.